Well, hello again. Um, okay, so plan for today. Um, I'm going to implement support for multiple stages, multiple maps, and hopefully implement the keys and the doors. Although I don't have, I don't have a clear plan for that. So yeah, it's not a good idea. We should have planned before. And um, time five and seven hours, which basically means, I mean, the deadline is next Monday. So um, it looks like it's going to be just this week. Uh, likely to be this session Thursday, and then I need to wrap up everything. Mm, yeah, I see it very unlikely. Uh, which is a shame, but it has an ex I have a excuse, a good excuse, really. Uh, well, I was planning to do work on the music. I mean, if I was working on the music in a little bit on level design last weekend, uh, there would have been a chance of having everything finished. But um, turns out that the engine as it was, um, it wasn't really. Um, so basically, um, I had tried the engine uh, with mostly with DOSBox and an old laptop, which is 16 years old, but it's not that old. It's quite powerful. It's not a period time. So a period machine. It's not as 3A6, right? Or 4A6. So I haven't tried on those machines. And DOSBox is kind of, kind of misleading. Uh, uh, and basically, the engine was working because we're using a very powerful machine. But then when I tried a different, I can't even start it. I, I tried with, I'm not sure how it's going to do with the stream. Let's see if it works and, and it doesn't break anything. It's going to use a little bit of CPU. So yeah, I mean, this is, um, an accurate uh, emulate or more accurate. I don't know how accurate it is. I think it's pretty much what I would, what I should be using. It's just that it's a slow uh, for a regular development cycle. You probably don't want to do this. So those box was great. But then when I try here, um, I mean, the baseline machine I'm using for testing now, it is a uh, 3A6DX uh, 33 uh, megahertz without F F F F uh, floating uh, point unit because I'm not using it anyway. Uh, so, yeah, now that I'm testing with this, then I realized that, well, it was like giving me like one frame per second or two. And then I thought, well, maybe, you know, it's because the 3A6 is not right, you know, it's not that powerful. Then I keep, I kept increasing the, the power of the machine until I got to a Pentium 233 hertz, megahertz, and yeah, the code was awful. Long story short, I was overdrawing, uh, you can't really update the, you know, the back buffer fully on every frame. So I had to change that. I changed that. Um, so I think I might have, okay, no, I don't know. Let me update the floppy. Yeah, one thing, see, it's kind of slow because I need to eject the disk and put it again, otherwise it is going to cast things. And so, you know, I start the game. It's going to be kind of slow to start because I'm loading from a floppy. Hey, raising the beam. So I'm loading for a floppy. And uh, yeah, okay, so this is a proper test, right? And then I realized it was not working. So instead of doing things with the music and, you know, starting with the level design, I spend the, you know, the, the few moments I have during the weekend and Monday, um, rewriting parts of the engine including writing some 86 Intel assembler. So equal war. Okay, so here it has, we're showing, well, it's handling, I think it's 
12 entities. Okay, I don't remember. <laughs> Let's count them. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 entities, right? I mean, the, the test I was doing before, it was not 14. It couldn't handle like 6. So 14. And it can manage them just fine. Well, it's not true. But there's nothing we can fix with some level design. I mean, I'm not going to get to it. So basically, uh, if there are too many things being drawn on the top of the screen, we might not be fast enough and there could be some flickering. Okay, let's get that. Do we have a chance? So yeah, basically, you know, it was first, you know, like two frames per second or one frame per second. Then I went to a lot of flickering and now, you know, it's pretty good, I think. I'm trying to force it if a lot of enemies draw on the bottom of the screen, but it didn't really. Anyway. So yeah. So it's a it's going to work in a machine of the time. Which is brilliant. Um yeah, but that required a lot of work and time. And so I've been working, I didn't do that on the stream. Um, you know, the code is open source. The basic idea is pretty much the same. The only difference is that I draw, I, I draw now directly into the screen. Um, and I do it as fast as I can, uh, which meant I had to write some frame buffer. So basically, um, I keep the back buffer and I have now, I can select the target if I want to draw on the screen or on the back buffer. This is because uh, I have two layers. So when I draw the background, I keep that on the back buffer and I get pieces of it to erase um, where I draw the sprites um, instead of having to, re I don't know. The other engine was more thinking like I'm a mother machine. Uh, so I was over reading and over writing all the place, all over the place. So now you can choose between those, you know, the back buffer or the screen. Um, then <laughs> when you get to the bleed, I'm writing it in assembler. Um, which is it's been interesting because you know I, I wrote a lot of um, Intel 32-bit assembler, Intel 32-bit assembler like at the end of the 90s. Um, so things are kind of coming back to me as I'm writing things, but I don't really know how this works. And also the syntax is the AT&T syntax of uh, the new assembler uh, gas, and also. Um, and also there is the, um, the macro system here, which in a way I found it very, so it's difficult to understand how it works, but when you understand how it works, it's kind of nice because, uh, you say S is A, A S I or S E, I don't know how you pronounce that in English, but you want to load a sprite, which is a pointer to to byte. And it does that for you. So, you know, if I think why, why do this, for example, B is ABX. If I need to load this address on set 80, I need to get the pointer from DST and then check uh, that H is two, four, six bytes away, add six, you know, it's a pain. And here it does that for you. So I guess that's not too bad. Um, but anyway, so I had to write that. Um, so the bleed, bleed C and bleed RC, 
is as more or less the way it was on the original engine. It's just that I wrote things in assembler uh, and I simplify a couple of things like I removed uh, the clipping. So there is no clipping now. If I try to draw out of the screen, it will crash. Uh, but it's faster, right? So that's a trick. That's how you do things go faster. You do less things and that's faster, right? I don't need to check for out of bounds uh, and I, I don't do clipping, so it's faster. Um, this could be better if we didn't have transparent, but yeah, being transparent, I need to copy a byte at a time. Uh, this is the same. Then I have a bleak copy without optimizations, and this bleak copy is assuming that the width of the sprite is always going to be 16 pixels, which means that I can use, uh, you know, I can move four bits, four bytes at a time, which is very fast. So, so that's one of the biggest biggest changes, right? Then the engine is used differently because now you can change the target and then with copy, you always copy from, uh, I think I have comments in the video age, yeah. So copy is always copy from the back buffer to the screen. So you can compose things and then dump everything as long as you don't do it uh, frequently and then write on the screen directly uh, when you are doing the, the action now so this part alone is not enough to, to to get to the place where i am right now there is another set of changes in the entities so in order for this to work i need to draw the entities in order and if you remember we didn't include the player on the entity system so that's kind of it was kind of a problem but it's not it's easy to fix but there you go uh if it was in the entity system we would have a different set of problems um but we we didn't have you know it would be simpler because it's all entities now the problem we have now is that uh, you need to draw things in order because uh the screen is going to be drawn from top to bottom and when we get, we wait to V-Sync and then we draw as fast as we can. Um, when the screen is drawing on the first third of the screen, you have to have finished with those sprites. Otherwise they will be flickering because I need to erase the background and then draw the new position, right? So that difference is when you see, when you see flicker. Um, so that means that we need to sort the sprites uh, and draw them in order which is fine because uh, between frames I have enough time. My problem is that if I need to draw, for example, 14 entities, I need to, to do it, you know, as this, the screen is being drawn, otherwise there will be flicker. But before getting to the V-Sync, I have time so I can do things like sorting the sprites uh, or prepare data to draw faster, right? So. Uh, what I have done is I have a, an array here of pointers to entity and I have a fake entity for the player that I, I'm using for, for that, um, you know, to, to include it in the, so, in the list that we're sorting. Um, so yeah, we set up so a few things. Um, I'm using the used uh, flag with different values and I have a... Uh, three layers, when well, in reality it's four, right? Because it's unused, which is free, which it was zero before. And then we have background, foreground, and player, because uh, I want to draw, for example, if there are two sprites at the same uh, level, I want to draw the player last because I want it to be on top. Uh, the background, you know, the pickups I wanted to be in background, not in front of the of the other enemies, you know, things like that. So I use three layers. Um, then when you create an entity, I always assign foreground uh, FG, but the pickups change that to background, 
and we use player for the fake entity that is not in the list of entities. Entity update, I didn't change that. Now, the difference here, uh, warp out all that's the same code you know. Now, the two things that I have changed is entities raw now take care also of the player. So they do the erase. The order of the erase is not important. And I also, I'm not checking. Uh, yeah, I mean, it has its own, its own code. Uh, so I just call the function and that's it. Um, so the order of the erase is not important. Uh, if I overdraw by erasing two areas that have been erased already, it's fine. It would be too complicated to actually merge those and, and don't overdraw. So it's probably not worth it. Um, yeah, so we erase all. And then the draw, basically in this sorted array, we go through it and we draw in that order, which is kind of simple. It's just that if it's free, we don't do anything, which is the you the you when used is zero, which is the all free. Now I'm using different values. I think it's clear to read it like this, although in reality it's the same is zero, right? As you can see here, it's zero. So then foreground and background is entities and player we call player draw. And the benefit of doing this is because we have more control here, like when it's invulnerable and we want to blink and, you know, by skipping frames and things like that, it's perfect. And the other bit that is new is that before um, drawing, you need to sort the sprites after they change position. Um, and for that, is I'm using insertion sort. Uh, so if you look at the history of the repo, uh, there is a quick sort implementation that comes with uh, libc. For this number of entities, it's not actually using quick sort. Uh, I think it ends using a uh, merge sort. Anyway, I was looking at the code and it's massive compared with this. Uh, so even if this is definitely slower for a lot of entities, we're talking that um, I, you know, we're not going to have more than 16. So um, that's basically, is this is not a problem. So insertion sort is absolutely fine. Um, yeah, someone mentioned that I, I should say his name, but I don't remember right now. Uh, thank you, that was a brilliant idea. And um, yeah, he suggested that probably quick short was overkill. It was fine already, but this is faster. So why not, right? It's not too difficult. Um, so basically we build the, the list of entities and we add the player at the end. Uh, it would be even better if, because a lot of these entities are always going to be in the same uh, Y position, because for example, this the, the snakes, and the pickups, they don't change the vertical. The pickups don't move at all, right? So, but the snake only moves in the horizontal, horizontal, so on the X coordinate. So, yeah, it, it would be useful, for example, to keep them sorted, but because we can add and remove entities, I think this is not very expensive anyway. Um, I also thinking that we're never going to have more than 255 entities. But it's fine. Uh, we have 16. Um, so basically, yeah, we will build, build a sort and then with the insertion sort, we sort in place. Um, I also doing a, a trick because as we, as I said, um, the, um, so this is even faster if, if the data is partially sorted. So I'm sorting by the Y coordinate all the entities when I import the map. So they will be part of those entities that will be always in the right order. So this is going to be even faster. Um, yeah, and this is basically very simple. Now the conditions are the sorting criteria is, is the Y coordinate, but also uh, if they are, uh, is this correct though? No, this is not correct. 
Quack, 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 quack. Yeah, I thought I saw something funny uh, when I we were looking at Box 86. Like a bat was flying behind a pickup. <laughs> so it's because it should be like this. Um, so basically, uh, by dividing by 16 here, if they are equal, so if they are in the same block of 16 pixels height, uh, tall, sorry, um, then I use the used uh, value, which is the layers I was mentioning before. Then we, you know, we need we need to swap them because you know that they should be there, they're in the wrong order or if just looking at the Y directly uh, and I don't know if this is correct yeah I mean if this triggers we go here otherwise I don't know if this is correct um, probably See, now, now that we know that this is absolutely fine uh, in a 3A6, we can just test it in those box because it's faster. The test cycle is super quick. The only thing I need to be careful is to not be killed. So, see, all are working on top of the... Yeah, they're working on top of the... Now, let's see if that happens as well with... The gem. So it happened with the skeleton. So will it? Ha no, it went away. Well, I think it's fine. I still think that that that, that was not quite right. Yeah, looks okay. Anyway, um, let me commit this. This is a good comic message, but there you go. Cool. Uh, so yeah, we sort everything and I mean, we can actually, I mean, it's easy to see if we do a trick here. Um, if we wait, uh, for example, 16 frames between every time we draw a sprite, that will show us all the sprites. See, they draw top down. So the first at the bottom and the last at the end. And if you see here, if you see the pointer, there is a snake here at the same level as the player. The snake is always going to draw first. Well, that's not true. The player, we always draw last because of the, um, of the layers. Anyway, so this is basically why I didn't do more than I was thinking I was going to do. Which, yeah, take us back with the plan for today. So, supporting multiple multiple maps is easy. It's not going to take me a long time to do. I mean, I still think that explaining the changes is going to be interesting. I don't know. I'm not sure really who's watching this, but maybe someone will find it interesting. Um, I'm also uploading the, the videos to YouTube, so... You know, who knows? Maybe someone discovered this in in a couple of years and, and they like it. So yeah, you from the future, I'm talking to you. So yeah, it was probably useful to explain this. Um, and now, yeah, let's do the maps, let's do the doors. And regarding the submission of the game, I think it's unlikely. It's not going to be well finished or polished and I, it really bothers me submitting something that is not it really doesn't matter in a way because uh, it's open source right so anyone can compile this already and see how unfinished or finished it is but I guess submitting that to the it's kind of making it official right So I don't know. Oh, I added more things, actually. Uh, yeah, but that's probably not worth mentioning. So I, I added a um, 
command line interface. Uh, I added an option to, oh, because that was a different thing, you know, getting the Sound Blaster to work in the actual machine. That was also quite interesting. And I didn't know if it was a problem with my code or if it was a problem with the emulator or what was going on. So it took me a little bit to run a game from the time on, you know, because you have problems with conflicts with memory and stuff. Anyway, so yeah, uh, yeah, there is a flag to run the game without sound. Uh, show the version, half a screen. Very simple here, very straightforward. Um, and now we have that option with this no sound. So when we go to the sound in it, if it's no sound, what we do is that we don't load the Sound Blaster driver, so it only loads no sound. Which is the default, you know, it's when it's going to happen if you don't have But I found that for whatever reason there was something funny going on with with the Sound Blaster I was using or the configuration or, and I thought, well, if someone gets very frustrated and still wants to try the game, or because, you know, when I add the music in the machine you're trying for whatever reason, it, it plays too slow. Well, you can always disable the music, the sound completely. That's fine. Um, yeah, did I all add other things? No, I think I was all. Anyway, let's add more maps. So we probably need to close this one because if we're going to do nasty things to the files. So. Um, okay, so I guess we can do this, right? And this, so we have two stages now, exciting. And in here, now we can open Oh, this is a Haskell game. No, that's not what we want. Oops. Um, let's make some changes to stage two. So we know it is the stage two. Uh, so we can just remove some. Mm, no, I think it's the opposite. So let's. Leave, let's leave this like that and the one that I need to complete <laughs> I need to complete this one, right? Just, just do that. Okay, so we have two stages now and because we did the plumbing oh, all right, all right, all right we did the plumbing already uh, but it's not great so that's what I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, do I want to be explicit about the maps? Uh, I don't know why I did it like this. There are no more JSON files, more JSON files. So I guess we can do the same as we do and just inc include every JSON, right? I'm not going to use any JSON for anything else. So it can be all objects. See, so it has it has added both. There you go. That was super easy. Okay, so now in data, this is another thing I didn't know what to do uh, because I suspect that I'm going to okay, I'm going to hate changing this like this, but. Uh. We can do something. Music, although it says that it's music. Let's go sound. Um, something like this. And embedded data is a general, and this is uh, graphics. Is that right? 
Okay. So now this map in it, we pass the map. Do we want to control that in the game? Yeah, why not? So at the moment, we are just doing this, which is not correct anymore. I think what we can do is... Uh, yes. Let's do something like this. Something like this, right? Uh, is that what I want? I always get this wrong. Um, I mean, it's not that it's easy, so... Yeah, okay, so there you go. <laughs> anyway, the compiler should compile and also complain about this. So binary, stage... Did it call it 0, 01 and 0, 02? Uh... Do we want to be zero based? Yeah, it's okay. Stage one, stage two. I mean, adding this like this is going to be a real pain in the ass. But I don't think it's the end of the world either. So, uh, so this is not. We are calling stages, stages, and we're going to use the stage and that's it, I think, because we jump into the right place, so then run a stage clear, it will do all the bonus and then we increase one stage. We can do something here. Uh, which is going to be also pain, yes, because we need to data. But it's going to have the benefit of not breaking things and it's going to tell me when I'm out of bounds. So. to just land was then we can do break oh that's something we need to add as well see it we're not going to have time to finish this yeah end game although we could be doing a classic um classic classic and just loop right Go to the beginning. But uh, we will have an end the screen, even if it's just some text saying, Well, well done, you finished the game. Yeah, I'm on the things I wanted to do is also draw more tie sets, and I didn't do that. I so not good. I was too busy writing assembler. Cool. Well, this looks like it's going to do it, I think. Um, and just a compile. Uh, because I didn't know what is the stages. Did I? Did I? It's a pointer to what? Is that correct? Yeah, it's not correct. So... I don't know what is the qual where the const should go. Ah, I guess it was super easy. 
and I was making it super complicated. Okay, stage one, uh, no bats. The skeleton will chase us. Oh, I also added a tiny fix to the skeleton so it doesn't look too silly going after us when it can cross uh, the gap with the spikes. Ready? Yeah! And it's a stage 2! Well... Mm, that's pretty much... Oh, we had multiple maps so the idea will be I probably should have a base map I guess there you go. Uh, I should have a base map um, and then just make copies draw a screen and draw a screen and draw a screen and keep going until I have enough stages. Okay, so... Well, it's going to look ugly here, but it's just, you know, it's part of the game, so it makes sense to have it here. Uh, anything else I'm missing? Hmm? See the entity sword before drawing. Uh, but then here we don't need to do sword again because we didn't uh, update entities, so they haven't changed. And in here... Oh, another thing I didn't mention. Interesting stuff. So I noticed that there was some silly flickering, and I couldn't find out what was it. And it's because um, if the timer and draw happens in the middle of the process, which is basically in between erasing and drawing, uh, then you're going to see flicker and I couldn't find out why and it's because of that so I disabled the interrupts in this process which is very short um, and it's fine it's just I don't want to get interrupted because the timer interrupt is the one that is updating the sound effects so it may take a little bit longer than that we than we want really so, yeah on the updates entities sort them wait be sync yeah all good. Um, hmm. Yeah, there is also a question if, you know, I need to do a little bit of testing and QA, right? Just more things to think that I'm probably not going to finish this and submit on Monday, but... Alright. Uh, this is done. Anyway, it's not the end of the world. And also, I don't really like... I used to... I mean, I like game jams and competitions because it's, uh, it's kind of forcing you to finish something and it helps you to be creative and those limitations, time limitations, um, will really help you to get something done if especially if you're one of those like we all we all do that right you know you try to do things perfect you keep adding things that <laughs> to your game that are not really conducive to have a, a finished game when you're doing a game jam you have a tank of strain um, you don't have that problem I guess because you don't have time for that. Um, so I like that, but at the same time, I don't like competitions really like... I don't know, do I really want to compete with other people? I mean, I just want people to play the game. Which is the other good thing about game jams. Uh, that people will know more your game and you might get more people playing your game. But I don't know, there are not that many those games released every year. So I assume that if I release this instead of next Monday, sometime in August, um, there's still be people interested to play it. I don't know. I don't really need thousands of players. Just Let's 
So yeah, it's, it has pros and cons. Anyway, um, the keys and the doors, and I haven't thought about this at all. So at the moment, to start with, the doors are in the spray sheet but I think they look more like tiles okay so I can do the oh okay no I can do the keys first so the idea is that we have two types of doors one that go with the gold key yellow key and the other ones that go with the silver or metal key, right? Whatever is this. So the idea is that there is only one key of each. And when you grab the key, the doors open. I think I had a plan, but I forgot. Because I now that I'm thinking, I... I have this tile set here. And that makes me think <laughs> that. I... So, this solves one of the problems of one of the potential implementations. So, I guess what we can do is just treat this as a tiles, as, a so as solid tiles. Ah, let's do that. don't have it here because we're not going to use them. So anything that is over this tile here is going to be solid. So by just using this in the level is going to make uh, the player not being able to cross that. And that's a door, right? Um, something like this I mean there's gaps in the tie set hey Ikites how you doing my friend uh, how do we say that in, B in Bilbao it was like uh, Epa or Aupi <laughs> I don't remember Aupi I think it's Aupi you can say Aupi it's like a way of saying hello Aupa well I don't know. It's been a long time. Yeah, I use GIMP. I use GIMP for drawing. I draw all my games, 8 bits, it doesn't matter. I just... I have a hammer, so everything looks like a nail to me. Anyway, so we have a few gaps in the sprite sheet, uh, which is unfortunate, but it doesn't matter. You can say anything you want. Apa, Jepa, Api, Jepe. Exactly, that's my memory of. <laughs> um, yeah. Cool. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to. I hope it's the main thing. Yeah, you're probably right. Well, you're probably not right. No, you know. I don't. I was foreign in a strange land. Cool. So. Yeah, let's use this. I mean, it's going to be just regular tiles. Um, so the basic idea is going to be like, like we can put them wherever we want. Let's do gold first. Um, it really doesn't matter. I mean, I just want to have two. Um, okay, it doesn't matter because uh, the location of the doors is important. For a reason that we're going to see in a minute. Uh, and I guess we don't want to have gold on top of the door. Yeah. 
It's a really funny spot the TV long time ago. Huh. Cool. I will check that, that later. Uh, explains a lot of the OPA thing. Alright. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. Uh, how do I do this? Well, I guess... I mean, again, it's just testing. I don't know why I spend so much time always when I'm not. That's the gold layer. We need to be careful with that. We don't want to put things in the gold layer that is not gold. That would be bad. Okay, so let's restore this because I'm not going to put the door there. Um, okay. And let's put another door like here, for example. And then it is a goal. Now, okay, so the location of the door is going to be kind of important. Because we're going to restore the background. Oh, what program is this for the map? This is the awesome tile. It's brilliant, I like it. And I'm not going to even pretend I know how to pronounce his name. Thorborn. Thor? Thorbjorn? He's, he's a very nice guy. I once, I made a, a donation and I say, oh, thank you. You know, it's brilliant, I love it. And he say, yeah, it's, you know, it's nothing. If it wasn't for Tile, you would, you would be using something else. And I was like, come on, man, I just make a donation. I told you that I think you're your editor is amazing anyway it's cool i don't know which version is this one uh i i tend to compile it myself but i get lazy the good thing about tile is that you can save as a json and then processing the json in python is super easy and you can transform that into any binary data you can use in any game really okay so so first step um we add the doors that they look kind of okay uh, and they're solid and the skeleton just killed me so that's very bad design right right there because i just got my skeleton and my old miner stuck again this is testing but let's uh no that was the gold layer again be careful with that All right, okay, so let's put this here. Cool, so that's one thing. And then we're going to need the entities, which is going to be, I don't know, because we are just testing, can be here and it's going to be, uh, Gold key like this. Okay, so it means that we need to add the, the gold key, right? Um, and that is going to be part of the pickup. Okay, so first we add it to the map. So, gold key. So now the map important now is that there is an object called gold key. And it goes after the pickaxe. So in the map renderer, we're going to add the pickup gold key in it. Um, and then in the pickups, we just add the function that we need. Uh, so the goal key okay yeah so it's going to be ah we have it already goal key there you go for the pickup type but we didn't have so the goal key we moved it oh this is definitely not where it is so the gold key now it is in the spreadsheet is in 
um, 32.16. Well, let's put it there. So that's the gold key. We can add a silver key. Oh, let's don't get ahead of ourselves. That would be crazy. Uh, so let's copy the pickaxe, shall we? Because it's going to be pretty much the same, but not really. So, gold key. It's going to be in the background layer. Saints, oh, because we do the animation for the making it appear. Uh, pickup is gold key. And I'm going to change this so it follows the same. Because otherwise, we're going to make mistakes all the time. Um, and we want to make this appear sooner. Uh, because... Because why? Okay. So, max CDL... Four times. Yeah, we want to make this uh, appear sooner. Because you need the key to open the door. So, you can't play it, really. Until you get the key. And then <clears throat> in here, the gold key. Yeah, for now it's not going to do anything. And what did it do? Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. Oh, gold key, gold key. No, it's not gold key. It's gold key. There you go. The door appears as soon as you get the key. Mm. <laughs> That's not a key. Key, go home, you're drunk. That's not a key. It's not a key. What did I do? The key is here, right? So this is 32.16. Time, pickaxe. Gold key. What? I'm confused. So time, bonux, pickaxe, gold key. Oh, what? So time is zero. Pickaxe. Gold key. Are you kidding me? What's going on here? <laughs> what I am? What? 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 What I'm missing? Oh, uh, okay. So... I'm kind of missing completely. What are we setting the frame? That's confusing. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. So pick up in update. So increase the frame. Yeah, there you go. <sighs> Just didn't do it properly. It didn't crash either. That's cool. And then when we do the pickup here. Yeah, because that's a what okay. I'm gonna explain that in a minute. All right, so it's because in the init we set up uh, what is the type of pick, uh, pickup in the flags uh, that is going to be background, but all the other f parameters we set is for the 
pick up in update which is the animation that makes the the pickup appear and then depending on the pickup then we need to set the frames which is case is the same for all of them but for the for the gems because they have an animation and then we need to set say which frame it is which in this case for the gold key is 0 1 2 0 1 2 and that's the two we set here and then it goes to then the update function is the pickup update which is the new one that is basically what it's going to do is when you uh you know update animation for the bonuses uh if we get to the ttl and this is something that is wrong so Because we can't make the key disappear, otherwise you never open the door. So... We need to do it like this. Okay. The keys never disappear, otherwise you can open the door. And we will have the action to open the key that needs to be implemented by the map it's not going to be too bad i mean considering that i didn't have any plan whatsoever so the door is solid we can get to the door. okay so that's the door the key the key and i should be opening the door cool don't like the door <laughs> see that's that's the kind of stuff you don't waste time when you are in working on a jam because you're not going to start making changes on a door when you should be working on the game right right um, it looks awful now it looks worse but it wasn't looking good before either right so anyway bear with me a second uh perhaps another thing i'm seeing a little bit funny is that the door goes at the same level as the shade Nested leaves smell. No, they don't smell. This is absolutely fine. I'm reusing this update function for for five different types of pickups. I think this is fine. Uh, the DTL, I don't know how you can write this differently. I mean, it's the same case as this, you know, checking the bonuses. Yeah. Let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. I mean, in reality, this is a switch. Okay, it's, it's going to be your fault. I mean, if it doesn't work. If it works, put the condition the same if as the first. No, it's not. I'm incrementing the counter. When I'm comparing, uh, yeah. Oh, I see what you mean now. Uh, I was thinking maybe, uh, maybe it's my, my functional programming and pattern matching brain. But isn't isn't this the same as saying? Uh, If I can type, by the way, it's not the same as saying this. Wait, wait, wait. I think it's, this could be 
this could be what we're talking about. No, 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 because the counter has to play in both. All right, all right, all right, okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's do that. So if it's gold key or silver key, it never gets to the counter, right? All right. So you never, we never get to the counter. Um, let's put it like that. And because it's lazy, it's never going to evaluate that. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I agree with you. It's, it's cleaner like that. Uh, so, and I lost completely now. Oh, I was putting pixels here. Don't distract me when I'm putting pixels. <laughs> it's going to be quick. I promise. I know it's not. I mean, some people are artists and they can draw on the stream and it's super interesting and I like to see that. But I'm not an artist. That looks marginally better. Yeah, I think it's better. All right, so we get the key, but the key doesn't do anything because we haven't implemented the key. So, um, well, we know how it's going to be, so we can go to the map really and, um, it's going to be a new function, which is going to be, it's going to be, in essence, the same as the gold one. In essence, it's not going to be exactly the same. Right, let me get that. It's going to be very, very similar as in, I'm going to copy parts of it. But not the same. Um, so basically, we will have to update tiles. Either hinges, maybe hinges in the door. Uh, yeah, maybe. I mean, the door is not going to open. We're not going to see open it. It's going more like a, an effect. And so you're saying hinges, like. Like what? How do you draw hinges in a 16 by 16 door like this? Maybe. I don't know. I mean, the thing with, with, uh, okay. So there is something here that is definitely not great. Yeah, something like that. I need to do the same thing in the other door. The problem with this size of sprites is that at some point, adding more detail, it makes the end result worse. I guess. Cool. Okay. So let's, let's do the effect basically. So what we're going to do is we're going to search for the door tiles and which is going to be, it's going to be 45, 46, 65, 66. If we find one of those, uh, we're going to replace them. So it means that we have identified a door and uh, I don't know, do I, do I want to do it like this? No, it's not going to be like this, but it's going to be close. Um, yeah, I don't think it's correct, but it's okay. Um, do we need this? 
Yes, we do. So, 160.48 is the size of, of this one. Of this one. So, yeah. So, source, this is going to be the, the tie set, destination. Um, we can do it. Mm. So me, it means that I need to check two tiles. Cool, it's going to be easier than I thought. Um, all right, so I just need to go. I need to go through the map, really. I mean, it's going to be part of this. No, it's not going to be that much, but. So basically, we need to go through all the map and looking for... We need to look for the tiles. So this is going to be how we get the tile. Mm -hmm. So T has a tile. If I mean, this can be as slow as we want because it's going to be like once and, and done, right? So basically, um, what we're going to do if if t equals to to what this one, which is forty-five, then. We can actually potentially do it. Nah, let's do it like this. I think it's going to be better. And we, we can do the half of it. But I think it's okay. Um, okay, so we need to know... Well, we have X and Y, right? And what we did here is... Ooh. Yeah, if this happens, we update destination X and Y. Um, okay, we need to get the source X and Y. So for the top, it's going to be black. Wow, there you go, zero, zero. This is the shade, right? Now the question is... Um, do we need to switch the target? I don't think so. We need to switch it at the beginning. And then at the end. Because I suppose at the other case, in here we may have... We're going to do at least two blitz, right? That's it. So this should deal with the top of the gold door. And let's do the bottom. And we can do it doesn't matter. But um and the other one, we said it was 65, right? 65. I mean, this can be probably done better, but because I didn't plan. Oh, there is a problem with this. Uh, I need two blacks, and this is only one. Uh, it's going to put this as well. Quack, quack, wow. Well, we have like a lot of space here, right? As long as is, Yeah, I'm going to do it like this. So I only do one bleed. It's going to be okay. 
So instead of 0, 0, we're going to use 64, 0. And the bottom of the gold door is going to be here, 32, 8. Because we're going to draw to tie 16. I think it's fine. It's just... And that's it. This should open on the doors. Um, and it's complaining about... Uh, ah, because... Uh, what? Oh, is the pickup not important in the map? No, it's not important the map. Although... This is not great. We're going to make it great later. The door looks fine. I think that looks like a door. Now the question is... Will this open the door? It didn't open the door. Ah, uh, what? Um, oh man, this is absolutely wrong. It's never going to work. Um, it's never going to work. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um. So, the problem we have with this is I changed the engine. So, we are in Entities Update. And, and this... Is updating the background, but it's not updating the map. So the map is still solid. I can't do it like this. No, I can't do it like this. Um, so we will have to make a copy of the map. a copy of the gold data in RAM we're going to need a copy of the map as well in RAM why do we use this for Be like that. Mm, 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 no problem. So we can do this. And the current map is not going to be current anymore. And we're going to do a mem set here. And it's going to be okay. Because we need to modify the map, so that's why we are making a copy. So now CMAP is a copy of the map. Um... Now... We need to change... 
these to zero, for example. We don't care because it's never going to be drawn again. So, so it's not solid anymore. And it's twice because it's two tiles. Sorry, I didn't copy the other one. Let's copy that one now. So now it's not solid. Um, so this shouldn't break anything. Nothing should be broken now. Everything should be as it was. When we get the key, we should be crossing the door. Although, yeah. So, kind of. But it's okay, because I have... That was planned or, or, already. Because... Um, sorry, another one. Uh, yeah, we want to open both. See, wait for it. So you get one key. You don't go with the key and open the door. The key opens the doors. Um, but the thing is that... We need something here. Um, oh no, I don't know what to do now. So my idea, my idea was that, that basically you have, you have a number of those doors block, blocking your progress, right? When you get the key, it opens the doors of that type. So I was planning to do the disappearing effect. So the door gets open. But obviously, I'm not going to be able to do that. Uh, and actually, I don't... Now looking at this, it looks funny. Because basically... Depending on the side that you are. Cool. So, um, ah, 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 ah. this is not going to work like this. Practically the same. Yeah, but I don't worry about that because I may even have to drop all this. I don't think this is working. Because the problem I have now is that I can't change the screen when I'm updating things. So when I'm updating things, I can't change anything. So when I get the key, I need to create an entity on each door. So when they finish the animation, you get the right background. This is going to be really amazing. So, effect out update. Um, okay, so effect out in it. In reality, we can just use a new entity. It's fine. This is going to be great. Oh, I see it. It's going to be great. Well, it's going to work. Not great. Maybe it will be. Uh, so we only need to create one entity on the corner one. So I guess, um, and we need to be careful now because we need to count those of the doors. Uh, okay, so. All right, 
nice to see you and maybe see you next time um bye bye now good night what time is it yeah we have one less hour here thank you yeah hopefully i think it's going to work um i mean things work better when you have a plan but let's see Right, okay. Um... So, let me think. Yeah, I think we, we can do it like this. And... And I, I'm a map already. Uh, 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 uh. Just let me look at the code when we spawn the entities because we need to do the same. We need to do the same here. So entity A. Uh, we do this. create a new entity we're going to copy the debug code here why because when i make a uh, make a release of the game um this will be tested and but meanwhile i want to know if i run out of entities right so the entity x is going to be x the entity y is going to be y And everything else is set to zero. That's absolutely fine. Fine. The frame is going to be one. This is going to be this. And actually, I can do effect out in it, isn't it? And that will spawn the entity. So, if I do this, and yeah, because the map doesn't know about creating entities. So, yeah, we just need to add here. Uh, it was effects or effects. I don't know. Yeah, it's effect. Okay. Uh, okay, because I need to, uh, yeah, standard Uh, no, wait a minute. Ah, uh, because, uh, okay. I'm confused. Why is complaining what? He's saying... But I'm including it. Standard in the standard I.O. What's wrong? Oh no, because it's not this one. It's an effect. Effect we are not including. And we will call it a standard lead. And now you should be happy. Yeah. Okay, the doors are solid. Ooh, so close. The map is doing something wrong. Uh, okay, because that's what we draw. Sorry, here.
Yeah, but the entities work in map coordinates, not the screen coordinates. Otherwise, it would be madness. I mean, it's not. I'm not thrilled about this implementation, but. But it works, right? I like it. I mean, I like how it looks. I don't like the code. Okay, so Gates, Gates, Gates was actually saying that this looks pretty much the same. And is he? He's right. So. Okay, so. So it's not solid anymore. This is the same. Then if t equals forty-five, otherwise, is the very bottom. So this is the top. Oh no, it's actually... They are different. So top and bottom. And on the top, we have the effect. So we can get rid of this. And it should be doing the same. Uh, one thing I don't like, and we're going to change, uh, is it's not that I don't like it. Is that it's not great from the point of view of gameplay. Um, this is too long. Um, but obviously, I don't want to do just one. Two frames. I mean, it means that the door, the key could appear in almost immediately, right? So that's fine. Okay, so we didn't break the doors. Now, question is, what about the sound effect? Okay, so when we pick the gold key, the sound effects will be different. And do we care if we do this here? Um, well, the thing is that the warp has less priority than the pickup anyway. So it's never going to play. I hate doing this, but... It's going to... It's going to look much better if... Okay, so that opens the... Uh, that's the gold key. Let's do... Some... 
more keys. Um, okay, so we can do the gold key. It's going to be the same. So I can just do this one here. And then this. Two. Silver key. I mean, I could have done both at the same time, but. But I guess, I mean, I'm, I'm half explaining, half kind of investigating how I'm going to implement things, so. I thought it was slightly better to do one and then the other. And now, the silver key. Which again is going to be very similar. But let's let's do it quick and then I can think about improving from 47. And it's going to be 67, right? Um Yeah it's the same. This is so fun to do it like this. It's all the same. So So starting up in key. going to be 45, 65, right? Top, bottom, and it's the same. So, and for the silver key, we do the same, but the tiles are different. It's 47, 67, in the map I don't remember don't remember let's check yes silver key uh, pick up we need to um, silver key it's looking good looking good um, so for the silver key it's going to be in different coordinates. 4816. 4816. Cool. 4816. Then we need the init for the silver key. The timing can be exactly the same, it doesn't matter. Then we are silver key here. It's going to be the next frame. The keys never disappear. And for the silver key, we do silver key. And 
silver key. And everything works. No, it doesn't work. Uh, why? Uh, what did I do? What did I do? What will I do without you? Without the right number of the name of the function. Well, it doesn't work. So we have gold and silver. We got gold and silver. And this is done. Isn't it? This is going to be done, this is going to be done, this is going to be done. This requires a little bit of... So, will I this one? Did I change both the sprites when I was playing with the door? Okay, here, yes, this is fine. The map, we are not going to look at it. Um, the doors look the same. They are not great, but they are not the worst doors that you're going to see, so I'm happy with that. So this is effect out new when you pass X and Y and we create a new entity. That is cool. Simple. I really like when it's a lot of very small pieces of code. Uh, we have to make a copy of the map because we need to change it. We can use the ROM uh, read only memory. So, two new entities made a copy. Uh, we use the map because the map is not as a copy and it only has the, the map data, not everything. So, I'm confused right now. Mm, why is this working at all? Map, open key. Okay, I will think about that later. I think I'm confused about the spawning. I will look at that in a minute. So, open key. We'll open any key. You provide the type for the top and the bottom. Yeah, so basically what it does, we go through the map. If we find the top is not solid anymore or the bottom is not solid anymore, we only change the tiles and we add the effect for the top. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. And then with this is the background in the back buffer. We need to update that. That's top. Perfect. So we pass the different type of tiles. That's perfect. Uh, stage tab is then on the pickup uh, we have gold key silver key now we did the frames they need functions they look okay perfect this is when we move from the wait we initially yeah, yeah okay this is what after we're doing the, the effect and then we don't make the keys disappear. I need to look at that. This is working properly. Yeah, open gold key, open silver key. Looking good. Different sound as well because it, it's better if we use the same, the right sound. sound. Okay. And here we add the gold key, silver key. Good. Okay, so let's go to the map because I'm just confused. Um, oh, brilliant, because I'm using map, not see map. That's why it works. Because the entities are at the end of the uh, map data and the goal data. And 
and this is perfect. Now, does this have any kind of performance hit that we should be worrying about on a 368? 386, sorry. I don't even know the numbers anymore. I don't want to go there. I don't want to touch the keys. The keys shouldn't disappear. Nice. Nice move, Mr. Bones. So the pickaxe disappears. The jewel should disappear. But the keys never disappear. Which is correct. Yeah. Stage clear. This is looking good. I mean, I'm more optimistic that when I start the video. Uh, so, what is next? Um, to be honest, um, the only things that are left that I could be doing on Thursday here is the screens with the intro and the end game. And perhaps the joystick support, which is kind of something I want to do, but it's kind of it's kind of not essential. Um, but it's not essential, um, so I don't know the sign. <laughs> oh man! Okay. So um, I'm not going to do the level design or the music of the sound, uh, well, it's the music really, the sound is done, the sound effects, I have them in place already. So I'm not going to do the music of the level design uh, on stream, um, but uh, I guess on Thursday I can do the intro and the end game, maybe? And that's the only bit missing. So being very 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 efficient with the scarce time i have available may be able to finish i don't know you know how it's very likely i mean the level design is going to be it takes time because i need to test the screens and see that they make sense or i might end with screens that are not interesting or or broken um, the music uh, for me is the, is the hardest part of making a game uh, so I don't know I mean I can spend a week without finding what I want to do or maybe in a couple of hours I get you know the three tunes I need I mean essentially I mean in reality is only two of them but having a tune in the menu would be nice as well um, So I don't know, could be, but definitely it's, it's not going to be the type of game I would like to release. So yeah, we'll see on Thursday. Let's do the intro, uh, intro and the end game, and then I can decide if I submit the game to the jam or not. In any case, the game will be released and it will be free download, free to play. Whatever, you know, you can send me a coffee if you like it, but it's not, it's not going to change anything. The game will be available anyway. 
So yeah, we'll see. Let's let's think about it. Uh, but yeah, it looks unlikely. It's because there's no time. I mean, we got very close, really. I mean, five days left. Tomorrow I'm not going to stream. So, but you know, I have other things to do. So I don't know. Anyway, good session today. Got a few things done and I also explained all the changes I had to make to get this to work properly on a 3A6 so yeah good session see you next time bye